What's up guys, just here back to my channel, tonight I'm going to be doing a uh, review for WWE Friday Night Smackdown only tonight, there was no Rampage after that, because tonight is Rampage after Collision, at 9.30 or 10.30 or wherever, ten, wherever time is Collision starts after that, uh, you know, whatever, um, this is for the uh, WWE Draft 2024, so it was good, it was kind of good, the draft, not too bad. But they had to continue it after, you know, the show was over and stuff. And, uh, yeah, there was more to it. <clears throat> um, let's go and get to it then. Um, only signature and everybody, everybody can get started on stuff, blah, blah, blah. Alright, so we have Caitlin Braxton talks to Tr Paul Heyman. We see a look at the podium <clears throat> set up on the entrance stage for the 2024 WWE draft and then the rules for this year's draft flash on the screen as Grays and Barrett talk us through uh through uh through the backstage Caleb Braxton is staying by with Paul Heyman. He talks about Roman Reigns and his status for the draft, revealing that he has removed himself from the draft pool. Now we shoot to the WWE Performance Center <clears throat> in Orlando where Jackie Redman is with the packed house full of fans chanting NXT, NXT as she talks about the excitement in the air. All right, we have a, another segment with the contract signing here. It's WWE Flashback France uh, Universal Title Match contract signing. Uh, back inside the Heritage Bank uh, Center, we see Corey Graves standing in the ring, which is set up with two tables, a carpet, and the rest of the of the usual contract signing and trimmings. Graves hypes up the WWE Universal Championship showdown between Cody Rhodes and AJ Styles for WWE uh, Backlash uh, France. From there, uh, he introduced AJ Styles, and out comes the challenger for Rhodes' first defense of the Universal Title. Uh, the Phenomenal One sells inside the ring and takes a seat at one of the tables. Grace then introduces the reigning and defending champion, and out comes the American Nightmare. Uh, Nightmare. Um, Styles begins by standing up and saying, "Before he signs this, he's got some stuff to say." He talks about his beef with L.A. Knight and how he got under his skin. He says that's why he lost at WrestleMania 40. Um, he says he gained his composure after that and realizes that he is uh, phenomenal and got back on track. AJ goes on to offer the obligatory uh, whatever praise to Cody's late father, uh, the American Dream, Josie Rose. Cody talks next and says... There isn't a locker room in the world where every single person in it will have something good to say about AJ. He says AJ has earned that respect. Thanks. Stay respectful. The two sign and shake hands. All right. Paul Trevich Levet kicks off night one of 2024. I'm sorry, guys. I'm kind of tired right now, so sorry with the yawning. All right. Cody's music hits, and he walks off He as he makes it. Halfway out the ramp, his music cuts off, uh, and the familiar sounds of Triple H's, uh, Triple H's theme plays. Out comes the WG content officer, Paul Triple H Levesque. Triple H brings Cody over to the podium with for the first draft announcements. Cody, uh, I mean, uh, sorry, Rhodes reads the first pat pick of the draft, the WWE draft, um, uh, which he's smacked down selecting. The EST of WWE Bianca Belair with the second overall pick Raw selects main event Jay Uso. The second pick for SmackDown is former WWE NXT World Champion Camilla Hayes. The final pick of the first round sees Raw selects Seth Freaking Rounds. Alright. I have a little talk right here afterwards. Uh, Camilla Hayes theme hits and Ali comes walking over to Cody and Triple H. He tells Cody that he hears him saying since capturing the Universal title that if you come at the King... You best not miss. He says, that's good, because when I shoot, I don't miss. He then says, who better to take his shot against the Cody? Cody uh, reacts and makes a match between them tonight. All right, we have a first match. Finally, Rey Mysterio, Dragon Lee, and Dragon Lee versus Angel Lamberto. Okay. Uh, backstage with Shee, Carly, and Zillian walking with Rey Mysterio and Dragon Lee as they prepare to head to the ring for our first match of the evening. On that note, we shift gears into a pre-match commercial break. When we return, um, what was that sound? Uh, when we return from the break, the iconic sounds of Rey Mysterio's theme hits. Uh, he comes with Dragon Lee for the opening attack team action. The little Del Fantasma, um, 
Angel and Alberto come out, and the bell uh, sounds to get this one officially off and running. After some uh, back and forth action, we head to mid match break. As we settle in from the break, we see Mysterio fire up and fence and his trademark 619 spot. Dragon Lee follows up with his project. Dragon Lee, uh, Dragon finish for the pinfall victory. So, winner, uh, the winners are Rey Mysterio and Dragon Lee. Carlito revealed, and uh, okay. Once the match wraps up, we see Carlito and Zelina Vega join Rey Mysterio and Dragon Lee in the ring for their uh, post match celebration. The music cuts off, and out comes Santos Escobar, and who says he's a lot of things, but a liar is not one of them. He says he has a footage of who really attacked Dragon Lee. Um, we see the footage, and it was Carlito as it airs. Carlito attacks Dragon, Dragon from behind and runs off through the crowd. There is, we had to another commercial break, so we already know what happened. Uh, Braun Breaker versus Cedric Alexander. Um, as uh, we return from the commercials, we learned that Camille Hayes versus Corey Rhodes has been confirmed for tonight's uh, main event. The theme for Braun Breaker hits out comes the former WWE NXT World Champion for our next match of the evening. Our in the ring, Breaker's opponent, uh, Cedric Alexander, the bell sounds and Running this one literally seconds later after a huge spear, we see Breaker pick up a super kick squash match victory. So winner is from Breaker. Uh backstage with Nick Aldis, Tony Stratton and Bailey. We see footage of Tony Stratton taking Naomi and Bailey during uh their WWE Women's Championship match last week of the show backstage live. We see uh SmackDown General Manager Nick Aldis emerge from his office. Tiffany uh, approaches him. Otis informs her that tonight she will be scoring off against Naomi and whatsoever will uh, wins will cha challenge Bailey for the title at WWE Backlash Fringe. She asks who came up with that dumb idea. Bailey appears and says Dean Dong and reels it. It was her idea. Tiffany says she just had a Tiffany uh, Anthony uh, that is that Bailey should sit at ringside. Uh, and see Tiffany do what she couldn't do, which is beat Naomi. Toodle, she says, before doing an arrogant f hair flip and walking off. Alright, Michelle McCool and Tori Wilson continue night one of the of has a toy for uh do draft. Uh we see Michelle McCool and Tori Wilson backstage getting ready for round two the none down with shoot gears had to break we see an ad for combo tickets for Clash of Titans, Scotland, and SmackDown in Glasgow in June. Back, stay, back inside the arena, um, McCool and Wilson are introduced. Uh, McCool starts off and reveals that SmackDown's pick in the draft is Randy Orton. Wilson announces Raw's next week pick. Next pick is in the draft is none other than Brown Breaker. Uh, Nia Jack is announced as the next pick for SmackDown. In the draft by McCool, after we see awkward reactions from Raw and SmackDown, Xavier uh, to Breaker moving from SmackDown to Raw. Wilson reveals that Liv Morgan is the next pick for her for Raw. Uh, we are shown uh, from last week's show of Solo Sokoa and Tama, Tama Tonga uh, savagely attack uh, attacking Kevin Owens, who was left in a pool of his own blood. After the vicious assault at the hands of the new version of the bloodline, we see Nick Aldis showing uh, Paul Heyman after the aftermath of a car crash that Tama excuse me, uh, orchestrated to injure um, Owens and Aldis warning Heyman that losing isn't the only thing that warrants uh, consequences by life. We see Paul Heyman watching as a big rise in the building. Uh, as the car pulls out, Heyman approaches the door and is super apologetic before anyone says anything. Solo pops up and Heyman continues to apologize. He said next time he'll get the door for him when he arrives. Solo asks Heyman if the bloodline has been drafted. Heyman says no, not yet. Solo says Heyman to give him the details right now. Heyman explains that Roman Reigns removed himself from the draft pool. And that because Solo is adding new members, no one knows what they're getting if they trap the bloodline. Uh becomes Tom and 
uh, Tonga and Heyman look scared. Uh, Karen Owens emerges from behind and attacks Tama and Solo, at prompting a ton of official security uh, to immediately rush to the scene and to break them up. On that note, we should get to the demographics right on that note. When we return, uh, Bianca Belair comes out for an interview and is confronted by damage control as this is happening. We see Owens and the Bloodline come out through the back and continue brawling on the entrance which stage. The Bloodline start beating down Owens until Randy Orton comes out for the save. Alright, no, the Blood Boys continue to drag. Um, after that while scene wraps up, we shift backstage where we see Bully Ray pop up with some selections for the next round for the WWE draft. He begins walking, I mean... He gets walking the halls out with the member and all that stuff. <sighs> From the W Boys, uh, D Von Deli, who has the raw picks, we uh, head to a break. Uh, when we turn the Deli Boys, make their way out to the podium as fans chant ECW, ECW. Bully announces that SmackDown um, selects LA Knight as their first pick in the third round. D Von Announces Raw has selected uh, Ricochet as their latest pick in the draft. The Bloodline is in the second pick of the third round for SmackDown. For Raw, the final pick of the third round sees them uh, select uh, Sheamus. That wraps up for the third and final round of night one of the 2024 WWE draft. Double Boys head to the back as we move on with the tonight show. Alright, WWE Women's Championship Luminaire Naomi vs. Tiffany Stratton. for Tiffany Stratton hits and now she comes pointing to her wrist indicating uh, that this is is in fact Tiffy time as she heads to ring for the WWE Women's Championship Limited for WWE Backlash France that announced by Nick Aldis earlier tonight we see Bailey introduce a special guest commentary Tiffany excels inside the square circle and, uh, and her music wraps up the theme for Naomi hits and now she comes uh, comes the popular women's wrestling veteran to reign for this uh, high stakes showdown. The bell sounds and refreshing ring. This one, after some um, early back and forth action, we had to mid match commercial break. When we return, we see uh, things pick up between Stratton and Naomi. Uh, Tiff, uh, Tiffany dominating the action. Naomi hits a uh, big drop kick and then a uh, bulldog on um, Stratton to the dumb tech. Don't buckle in the corner. Uh, immediately after that, we hear some chaos breaking at outside Grays with Grays and reacting to something. The camera pans out, pans over to show Nia Jax has emerged through the crowd and is attacking Dodie Women's Champion Bailey. Naomi notices this f uh, from the ring and heads out to help sit out. Uh, but Nick Aldis is as well as soon the uh, naya makes her makes contact with naomi the referee sees the this and throws the match out although normally naomi would win via this complication since she was attacked but assuming that means no one wins and her, thus no one is officially set for bailey's uh, next challenge for the title at dodi bagalash uh france after jack's setting up her attack, Stratton stacks Naomi on top of Bailey and hits her prettiest moonsault ever. So, winners are no contest. Uh, Teddy, JB, Te uh, JBL, Tay Long, Katina, Draft, and all that stuff. We shoot backstage. Uh, former drama manager, and stuff, blah, blah, blah. Uh, merges, all that stuff. We head to a commercial break. When we turn from the break, we immediately see a beat. Um, down back uh, stage, when all that stuff, blah blah. blah. Uh, uh, back inside the arena, JBL and Tay Long are introduced long enough that AJ Styles is a, the next pick when the draft SmackDown for GBL. Um, now says Chad Gable, Curious is all Maxine Dupree and Ose collectively you known as uh, Alpha Cami Long announces Andrade as the next pick for SmackDown. Finally, JBL uh, names 
uh, Keanu, Keanu James from NXT for a Raw following the last pick Graves and Barrett introduced via package to former fans more than the NXT superstar Kira Kina where James uh, then check uh, with Jackie Redman at the WPC where Shawn Michaels is with Keanu uh, James who is interviewed uh, about the next big test of 24 um, Cody um, Rhodes versus Kamehameha Hayes main event time Follow the fourth and final uh, so we had a random worship break on that note. Blah blah blah. Cody Rhodes up next. We had to commercial break. Uh, pawning, uh, upon returning from the commercial, we see Fletcher Keanu reaction and all that stuff. Lately, uh, the reason, um, Blue Line vs. Kevin Owens, Randy Orton for WWE SmackDown Backlash. Um, back inside the arena, uh, Grace and Barry react to the. WWE back, uh, backlash fans announced the Sarah Kill and all that stuff. Um, uh, tag Team Profits. We return inside the building where we hear the familiar sounds of. I'm oh, sorry, they were just talking about the matches on stuff, other matches. We return inside the building where we hear the familiar sounds of Camilla Hayes' theme outcomes. Uh, he comes for our final match of the evening. He sells inside the square circle and this. Just to wrap up the theme for Cody Rhodes hits outcomes. Um, the American Iron, the bell sounds are for sure. Oh, this one. Um, all right, this one was the they tied up and Cody, um, uh, sorry if I remember where it sounds, I'm sorry. Uh, they tied up and Cody with the throw, then they hit the ropes and Cody with the kick and then right hand haste. Uh, with the cross chop, but then springboard attack, clothesline from Cody to drop Hayes, and then we head to main match commercial break again. As the action continues, when we turn, we see more back and forth action until uh, Cody Rhodes finally ro uh, finishes this one off with a crossroads for the win. I match Cody kneels down next to uh, uh, the ejected Carmelo Hayes and offers him some words for. Of their encouragement, um, uh, congruence of the match, and he'll totally fall down as the celebration he tops off the top rope, uh, rope and turns around to see AJ Styles staring at him. The two have a tense face off as fans break into various chants in the crowd. Grace promotes their showdown, the dirty, um, Really, uh, Blacklash France and I too, the dirty job on one there also this week show also. So, winner is Cody Rhodes. I'm sorry, guys, I'm so tired right now, I can't keep my eyes open. Um, anyways, it was a good show and stuff, and um, good drive. Can't wait to see what happens Monday. I know the others, oh, there's uh, more of the uh, other ones on stuff, so. Yeah, anyways, um, that was it for this video. Hope you like it. If not, like, subscribe, favorite, all that stuff, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, make it a high. However, um, yeah, anyways, that was it. And, um, I'll see you all in the next video. Laters.